I haven't looked at resale prices on Jordan 1s in a while, and I'm telling you right now, there are a ton of deals out there. So I'm gonna give you guys 20 pairs of Air Jordan 1s going for under $200. And there's a lot of shoes on this list that are going for under retail. So let's get started with the first shoe, and that's the Mocha Air Jordan 1 Low. Now these in particular are already going for under retail, and you can find these at a lot of different spots, even at the retail malls, which I wouldn't be surprised if you actually were able to get these on sale very soon, especially with the holidays coming. Now I personally love the Mocha Mocha Air Jordan 1 high, so I had to get the Mocha 1 lows. And I think when it comes to low top Air Jordan 1s in particular, yes, they're gonna be more affordable for the most part, but also they're just so easy to slip on and go, leave a few pairs at the front door and have a nice rotation to go with a bunch of different outfits. So I know these do have brown on the back end of the shoe, but at the same time, you can definitely cover it up with a pair of pants, especially with the cold times coming around this part of the year. So I had to make sure I threw these on the list. Now let's take it to the next shoe. And that's the Howard Air Jordan 1 low. Now this one, <laughs> It's funny because they call it the Howard P.E. Even though like it's not the Howard P.E. But that's a whole nother topic. Now I personally don't have a pair. But I do plan on grabbing a pair for my collection. I actually went to the mall the other day. And I saw they did have pairs still sitting on shelves. But they didn't have the bigger sizes. But even if you look at the bigger sizes. They're going for around 130 bucks, Which is right around retail. But again some resellers that type of situation they take the bigger sizes you guys know how it is with the big foot struggles i'm a size 13 so all the things in this video are going to be priced based on a size 13 price and for you guys if you have a smaller foot honestly you might even get a better deal than the prices that i'm showing you guys today in the video but either way this is a shoe that i eventually plan on adding to my collection very affordable price so i'm not in a rush i think it's a little bit more niche not everybody wants to have these in their collection in particular and i don't see a lot of people rocking them heavy in their rotation either but at the same time very clean shoe I'm not mad at them I give them a solid 7 out of 10 next up right here we have the Air Jordan 1 high OG across the spider verse and honestly I thought these were gonna be like some $400 sneaker and it's so dope to see that they're at an affordable price right now but I truly think in time it's Marvel it's spider-man like there's no way this shoe is just gonna be a $200 sneaker forever. That's just how I kind of feel. So I think if you get the shoe and you actually like the shoe, you know, buy what you like, that's the most important thing. But at the end of the day, I do think these will end up going back up over time. And sometimes it takes a few years. We gotta get through the current time in the market with all other aspects of life where it's making it tough for people to decide on where to spend their money, how to spend their money, how to make extra money. There's a lot of things going on. So that's also why I wanted to make this video to show you guys that there are a lot of affordable options out there and a lot of great colorways too now when it comes to this one in particular i know that this is not for everybody this is not everybody's cup of tea so i understand that as well for me i personally like them and again you guys know i love all the different variations of the chicago air jordan ones so i like to have every pair in my collection but not only for that reason i really like spider-man i thought it was super dope how the movie aligned with the shoe and if you watched the movie you would understand why they have these different elements to it i think they did a great job on this project and i definitely wanted to make sure I had these in my collection when they came out and now to see them going for an even better price honestly I'm happy for you guys that missed out on them because now you can get them for a solid deal under 200 bucks next up right here is an extremely crazy sleeper to me like I think these are so clean and the fact that they're like 160 bucks literally like below retail or at retail depending on where you're buying them from but either way the UNC the what do they call it the UNC toes is that what it is <laughs> these things are fire anything a part of the toe pack when it comes to any of the colors like I said before I think they they, they should and they're pretty they're pretty close they might have damn near done it now the entire rainbow if they do it all correctly the same exact color blocking and you put them all together and complete the set i think it would be super dope to do but this is a great shoe i love these uh i'm looking forward to rocking these at some point i haven't found the perfect fit to wear them with it yet but i got these for a really good price and i was like you know what i didn't realize like they're just chilling like this like i thought i got a good deal and then i found out like <laughs> now nope, they're just at a really good price right now i wanted to make sure i added these to the list as well again this is a unc toe air jordan one high og going for about 160 170 bucks in a size 13. oh yeah and if you didn't know by now my name is dj and this is the dna show hey. all right next up right here we have the royal reimagined air jordan ones these are going for about a hundred bucks you might actually be able to get these for cheaper and if you buy a used pair you probably could get them for around 60 to 80 bucks so if you want to add a great shoe to your collection again i know you can't wear it in all types of weather but it's a classic og colorway reimagined series there's a lot of different titles that go along with the shoe me personally 
I like them. I had two pairs, now I have one. They're not my favorite Air Jordan 1 in my entire collection, but they're still worthy of staying in my collection. So as you can see, I still have my pair right here. I think it's a great shoe. I'm glad and happy for all the people that copped them for retail, then they went on sale, and then they were able to take their receipts back to the store and get their money credited back to their accounts, which was super dope. And if you guys didn't know about that, that is an option if you purchase from Nike. So again quick pro tip that that way you guys can save some more money if you buy something for retail and then it goes down and it goes on sale so if you're hearing it first from me just know we've been doing this for a while all right next up right here we have the taxi air jordan one highs or you could call them the yellow toes again a part of the toe series in my opinion very similar to what shatter backboard you see those different things like that people are loving that they're excited about the shatter backboards next year just more of a yellow tone kind of got that golden look to it ah you know, you already know what I'm gonna say. Go Steelers, baby! Let's go! You know I had to get these. You know I had to get these. This is a great shoe. Let me check the prices real quick. Going for about 120, 130 bucks. Again, under retail, well under retail. And if there's so many different teams that you could align these with when it comes to sports and different things like that. So for me, Immediate cop had to have these excited about the price everybody's able to get these for a good deal And I just don't see this being a hundred and twenty dollar shoe You know multiple years from now I think a lot of these sneakers that we're talking about on this video People are gonna come back and watch this video years from now and they're gonna be like damn Remember when those was hundred and twenty bucks now look at they're 240 and all those different prices Like there's no way I'm going through 20 different shoes and some of these don't go up in value over time which again you want to make smart decisions get the right shoes be able to have stuff that you can then use and leverage later in life and have fun with it now in life and then also take that use that nugget and take that and roll it into another investment or opportunity in life to help you level up and then you can just go back and buy the shoes again so i don't know that's just kind of how i feel about it either way let's take it to the next shoe and that's the palomino air jordan ones now this one in particular i have never owned i've seen multiple times had them in hand and i was like this is a really nice shoe, but it's always been at an affordable price. And I'm like, because of that, I'm going to probably get a crazy steal on this shoe someday at some point. Maybe a pair that's been worn once or twice, find them at a sneaker event or something like that. People don't want them no more. Next thing you know, I get them for a hundred bucks. I think this is going to be that scenario for this shoe. So for those reasons, I don't have them in my collection yet, but don't be surprised if at some point, they end up in my collection and I tell you guys like, yo, I got these for 80 bucks or something like that because I truly think this is one of those shoes that's like really nice, great for the collection, great for the outfits, great for the rotation, all the different things. But at the same time, you can get for a really good price. So even if you bought a brand new pair in the resale market now, still a solid price, but me, I'm personally just waiting. Now this next one, a great deal as well. Literally like under 90 bucks, 90 bucks, 100 bucks, somewhere around there, 80 bucks. The black metallic gold Air Jordan 1s, those recently just came out. I think those are an amazing shoe as well. And as you can see, I didn't get those yet because I was not about to pay retail on the shoe because I knew they weren't going to be going for retail. So because of that, they're sitting literally under 100 bucks. So again, you know me, I'm looking for the best deal. This is gonna be a shoe that I'm gonna try to get in a bulk deal or some type of trade or something like that or find them at a sneaker event and next thing you know, I spent 60 or 80 bucks on the shoe and I was able to add it to my collection. I think this is one of those scenarios for that shoe as well. They haven't been out for too long, so you know, I don't, I can't say like, oh, I've been waiting for them for like three years or anything. So I wouldn't be surprised if I ended up adding these to my collection sometime within the next, you know, three to six months. Let's take it to the next one. The black toe Air Jordan 1 low. So you guys saw me do a review on this shoe. I have a few pairs in my collection. I don't know where they're at right now. I think the worn pair is downstairs in the garage and I can't find my other new pair, but either way, it's a great shoe. I literally wear these all the time. If I do find, I know where my uh, used pair is at, so I'll show you guys a clip. They're pretty cooked, so you know, I try to keep them on point, but at the same time, that's what they're meant for. They're my dailies. I remember as soon as I got those in the mail, I immediately like had them on, was wearing them to the airport, didn't even lace them up yet until I got on the plane. So I like that shoe a lot. Great deal, I think. 
Um, they might go up later in time, but at the end of the day, I think it's a great price to spend just over 100 bucks to get a classic OG colorway, especially with the black tongue. You did, I already made the review. You guys know. I'll have a link also for all the videos down below in the description if I have any reviews for any of these shoes so you guys can see more in depth of them. But for now, let's take it to the next one. We have the Dark Marina Blue Air Jordan 1s. Now, this one in particular, I'm just passing on. Like, I'm not too big of a fan on it for myself in particular, but I think for a lot of people at 130 bucks 120 bucks 140 bucks somewhere around there either way below retail I think great price great shoe you can go with a lot of different things whether it's school colors uh, a kid that wears them you know it's a darker sneaker so they can get it dirty and clean it up real easily there's a lot of different factors to that I think it's a great shoe for a lot of people's collection again for me I have a ton of Air Jordan ones I'm getting back close to almost 100 pairs I'm trying to trade some away so I can get like other PEs and stuff but for right now, I'm like focusing on just consolidating my Jordan 1 collection. I know you guys, I do my Jordan 1 collection update every year. So stay tuned for that. That'll be coming in a few months. You guys are going to be surprised. You know, you've seen a couple updates, but I got a couple other things in there y'all haven't seen yet. So uh, we'll get into that in a bit. But either way, that's a great shoe. But for now, let's take it to the next one. And that's the Shadow Air Jordan 1 Low. Now these in particular are going for around a hundred bucks. And I personally love these. I got multiple pairs of these. This is my new pair, my used pairs downstairs. As you can see, I rock those a lot as well and again classic og colorway you can't go wrong to spend a hundred bucks on this shoe now this reminds me of the times when these were coming out and going to outlets in the past and now look at those og one lows that came out in the 2015 era those shoes are like six eight hundred seven hundred thousand dollars like crazy prices so when we see these og colorways especially a low top that we hadn't seen before in an og as original OG from 85, I think it's always super dope. So for me, again, 100 bucks, you can't go wrong. And I think in time, I wouldn't be surprised if this is at least a $250 shoe. There's ebbs and flows of the shoe game. And I've seen this happen over the years. Trust me, I've been doing this for almost 20 years now. It's literally like we're down on the low and this is the perfect time to buy as an actual sneakerhead, somebody who loves shoes that wants to get stuff at an affordable price. And then also later in life, be able to say, hey, I've had my fun with these. I'm ready to get rid of them. And now I can get good money for them. So for me, again, can't go wrong with these. Now, next up is a shoe that I need to add to my collection still. And there's going for a hundred bucks. I think a great price. So I just need to catch them on sale or find them at an event, same type situation. And that's the Baron Air Jordan 1 Lowe's. Again, I think a very clean shoe, not an OG colorway, but you got similar to an OG color blocking. And because of that, it's hard to fail on that sneaker. I think a lot of people appreciate it, but at the same time, they don't glorify it, which is perfectly fine. There's a ton of sneakers out in this world that can be heavily appreciated, but not glorified to the fact where the resale price is insane. And that's one thing that I do love about sneakers as well. You can find those shoes that not only you like, but other people like, and you guys can have a common respect for a shoe and say, oh, that shoe's dope. I appreciate that. Oh, I got a pair too, but the price ain't crazy. So that's a great shoe. I need to add those to the collection. I don't know when it will happen, but I won't be surprised if it happens again sometime in the next six months or before I shoot my Jordan 1 update video. Next up right here, we have the Celtic, I mean, Lucky Green Air Jordan 1s. Now these going for like 120, 130 bucks. Again, great shoe, great price. I still got the DMP ones, the Bulls and Celtics pack. So but you guys saw the review, but these ones, the green is different. The shoe is different with the shape. It's got the, it's not the retro, it's that OG style. It's got the Nike Air instead of the Jumpman on the back and stuff. So great shoe. Again, I know it's not for everybody because of the green, but for the people that do want these, you can get them for underneath retail. And again, if the Celtics win another championship, who knows? These might be worth a thousand dollars. No, I don't think it'd be worth a thousand, but I think it's a solid shoe and I think it's well worth it. Next up, we have the Yellow Ochre Air Jordan 1s. I've done a review on those in the past. I no longer have them in my collection. I got rid of them in a trade recently. They're going for like 80 bucks. So I was like, you know what? I can get rid of them, get a shoe that I want to have in my collection even more than that to get a 
grail sneaker and then if i want to i could just go get them for 80 100 bucks 60 bucks who knows i'll find a good deal on them so to me i think it's a great shoe it's kind of like one of those expendable shoes in your collection where it's like i got it i can get rid of it i can get it back whenever i'm not, I'm not really repressed i'm not do i need it i don't know like it's kind of one of those type of things but i feel like it was worthy of being on the list now next up on the list is a shoe that's to no surprise <laughs> everybody kind of understands why the union air jordan one now i personally love the shoe i think they did a great job on the materials and all the other stuff again it's not better than the other unions and i'm excited for the union set to come out next year but i'll be rocking these and they go cool with a lot of fits i get a lot of compliments when i wear them out in the streets i think there's a lot of cool elements and aspects to this shoe that justifies why you should have these in your collection especially for them to be under retail or at retail you know 150 160 bucks and to be able to get a new pair especially if you got a used pair you probably be spending just over 100 bucks so for me i think it's a great shoe and um yeah they grew on me very quick as soon as i started rocking them now as you can see they're still unlaced um I, I rock these pretty often now speaking of rocking this is another shoe that i wear pretty often and it is the ama air jordan ones now this pair in particular is my dead stock pair but i do have my used pair over there and i like these i'm glad that i still have two pair because i rock the other ones heavy and i look forward to pulling this second pair out years down the line after i beat up the other pair just because I know that I can confidently rock those and it has that distress type material and it gives you that old vintage look. But at the same time, I still want my pair to be clean and not look too crazy. So that's why I decided to keep a second pair in my collection. But what's the prices going for on these things? Yeah, around 180, 200 bucks, 190 bucks for collaboration sneaker, crazy materials, great design, uh, universal for a lot of outfits. These things check a ton of boxes and it still be under 200 bucks. I think a great shoe for the collection. So I'm sure you could ask anybody in the comment section that owns these already in their collection. I bet you they love the shoe. All right, next up right here, we have, I think, in my opinion, a sleeper. Out of the year of the series, this is the cheapest one. And some people might say the worst one. I think it's just because of the color. The year of the dragon, Air Jordan 1s. But once you get the shoe in person, once you get the shoe in hand, you're not gonna say, oh, it's the worst shoe ever. But you're not gonna say it's the best shoe ever. But you are gonna say, it's a solid shoe. And honestly, I understand why people like them. Again, not for everybody, but when you really look at the shoe, the satin sock liner, the different details on the back, the swoosh, how they switch up the materials, and the overall color blocking, again, similar to the Chicago color blocking, it's kind of hard to fail. Now, me personally, I had to add these as soon as I saw these. I got them for like 200 or 220 bucks or something like that. And now they're going for like 150 bucks or something. So I could say I took a loss on the shoe. But again, buy what you like, get it at the price, the best price that you get at that time. If it goes down, it is what it is. I lost money on this shoe, but trust me, I've gained a ton of money on other shoes. So it's okay to take L's every now and then. I think this is a great sneaker and I'm looking forward to rocking these. I haven't figured out how I'm going to rock these yet or what I'm going to wear them with. And I think that's what's causing people to kind of be like, I don't know what to do with these, if I should buy them or not. But hopefully I can put a good fit together and then you guys can see them on foot and be like, you know what? That looks good. I need a pair too. All right, next up right here, we have a shoe that is actually blowing my mind. The price that it is, is crazy to me. These aren't even going for $100, bro. This is wild. Bruh. Bruh. Bruh, the metallic burgundy Air Jordan 1s. We're talking about OG 85 cut, classic OG colorway. We haven't seen this since the OG. And they're going for under 100 bucks. And honestly, I'm not mad at it because like, I think I might grab a second pair because of it. Me personally, I got all the 85. Oh, I take that back. I need the reverse bread still. I don't know why I don't have those, but they probably, I got to check the prices on those. But this is a beautiful shoe. It's very simple, very clean, and for some reason people don't like it. I get it, I get it. They aren't as comfortable and it's more narrow, so not everybody can fit them and all the other reasons as to why, but yeah. I think at least, come on, 150 bucks? Like, But it's also crazy, because these are like, what, 200 retail or something like that? So they're going for less than, or I guess more than half off. Uh, yeah, just wild. So me, I think great cop, great price, uh, under 100 bucks, 100 bucks, somewhere around there. Go get them, you won't be mad at them. And continuing on with the 85 wave, we got the metallic navy. This is an OG from 85, 
And then now we have it releasing in the 85 cut now in current time. And to me, it was a no brainer, but that was with an asterisk. You got to get these on sale. So for me, you know, I had to get them on sale and I think for them to go for around a hundred bucks now, cause I think the retail was like 160 or something. Cause they raised the price on the 85. So was it 160 or 170? Something like that. Either way, catch them on sale. You can get these for like a hundred bucks. You won't be mad at it. It's a classic. Some people just don't like the 85 cut. Some people prefer the OG Air Jordan 1 low compared to the 85 cut. And even there's some people out there that like retro one lows. I don't particularly like retro one lows just because I don't like the cut of it, but that's a whole nother topic. We've done a comparison video in the past. Either way, great shoe, hundred bucks. You could beat these up and they could have that vintage look. You can go buy another pair for a hundred bucks. You can have them in the rotation. Some people love them. Some people hate them. I personally like them a lot and that's why they're in my collection. But I think it's definitely a really good shoe. And last but not least, we got the Co Japan Air Jordan 1 Lows. This has always been a grail to me from when the mids came out to then the retro with the briefcase and then seeing this pair right here. I just, I love these. I think they're great. They're like 140, 150 bucks. And then speaking of that, this is kind of like a double whammy because these are going for like nothing too. catch these on sale. They made the low top version with the jewel Jordan branding on the, with the wings logo on the back. Like, bruh, the, hold on. The, what? These are so clean. I think you can pull off a ton of fits with these as well. And they're both affordable. These are like, what, 100 bucks? These are like 140 bucks. Great shoes. Um, I think in time, they can go up. I think a lot of these shoes, like I said, in time can go up. So that's 20 different Air Jordan, I guess 21. 21 different Air Jordan ones. There's more if you guys want to see more. Let me know down below in the comment section. Have you seen some shoes on this list that you're like, you know what? I might end up getting those now. I didn't realize they were going for that low. And do you have any other recommendations on other models that you guys want to see for affordable prices? Let me know down below in the comment section. We could do Jordan 3s, Jordan 4s, Jordan 5s, Jordan 6s, you name it. Whatever it is, it could be uh, different brands. Let me know the model, the price point, what you guys want to see, and hopefully I can cook something up for you guys. I appreciate you as always. If you made it this far in the video and you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would never let you down and send my DNA. Hey, hey, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I would never let you down and send my DNA. The only choice.